sometimes you hear people talk about, you know, athletes do it. That's how athletes train. Athletes, the highest level athletes do this. And I, I sometimes wonder, like, why is that even a point? It's like, you tell me the, the best lawyers use this software. Yeah, but like, I'm not a lawyer. I, I just want to file this, uh, the sale of my house, you know, it's just, you just want to fill this paperwork out for the city, whatever it might be. I mean, it, it, there's a, like doing what you're doing and taking it to the extreme. So it's like, you're leaving all this space in the middle, you're skipping it. Like I need to do what the athletes do. You know, the athletes, that's their job. All day, every day, they're focusing on their fitness or whatever it is. And Truth be told, some of them are not doing the right things. They probably would benefit from doing some of the stuff that you're doing, but shh, I didn't tell you that. Besides that, it, it, you don't have to be training like an athlete. Your goals are not the same. You're, for the most part, just trying to live the best life for you, which means getting active, staying healthy, getting everything ready, uh, maybe being ready for your trip or your event or your function, whatever it might be. and. You're, you know, trying to find the good benefits, good balance between health, body composition, and performance, right? You don't need to be doing all the supplementation, all the stuff that, that some of these uh, athletes are. You don't even have to work as hard and train as hard as them because their goal is at the highest end of the spectrum. It's not what you need to be doing. And oftentimes, if you try to act like they do, you'll get injured. And that's why a lot of weekend warriors get injured. You know, they're trying to go hard two or three times a week and they're sitting for the whole day. It's sort of counterproductive. You're losing some of the function by just sitting there in a, in a sit position all day. And then all of a sudden you're trying to go 100% with some people not even warming up, right? So remember, just because the athlete does it doesn't mean you have to do it. That's probably to an extreme that you don't need to get to unless you're physically capable of doing that at some point. But you start off with the, the, the big rocks, the basics, and you build up from there. If you get to a point where you're gonna be doing that intensity, then so be it. For the most part, you don't really need to be training like an athlete.